All right, we're here, Sea Otter 2023 at the BMC Switzerland booth. I have Tyler, and uh, we're gonna chat about the uh, AG2R Citron team bike. This came on a plane apparently from Switzerland uh, not too long ago. So uh, Tyler, if you will, let's just kind of go over the build and, and discuss the bike. Yeah, so a real special build that came uh, literally from the service course from the Asia to our team. Um, so flew in, we got it a day or so before the show. Um, this is a specific color that we built for the team, as you can kind of see behind it. So very unique, uh, fun colorway, um, specced with a with the uh, Campy Super Record group, um, and really to the exact spec of the team, uh, from wheels to tires to handlebar tape to saddle and all that kind of fun stuff. But the blue color for us was a really fun one. We wanted the team to really pop this year on the bike, um, and it's definitely kind of different than what you see in the pe in the in the Pro Tour regularly. So um, the the SLR is definitely the bike of the team. Uh, light, stiff very responsive handling. The more speed you feed to it, the more confidence inspiring the bike becomes. Um, also comes spec with our integrated ICS carbon handlebar. Um, really um, kind of clean um, setup. Also a real nice comfortable ride quality to it for a one piece bar. But you know the SLR was has always been built around the concept of that comfort is speed. Um, the more comfort, the more comfortable. This video is brought to you by Dib Sports. Rider owned, rider operated, Southern California. If you're in the market for some new apparel, please consider checking us out at dibsports.com. Feel free to leave a comment, hit the like button, consider subscribing, thank you. The more non-fatiguing ride quality that we can provide to our riders, our teams, whether they be racers or um, you know, uh, your, your typical you know, Sunday afternoon rider, um, the, the fresher we can keep the engine, um, the better that you can perform no matter what level, whether it be this or any other. Is this frame set available for purchase in this colorway, or is it exclusive it, it, to the team? It, it will be. It will be. Yeah, What's the so, MSRP for the frame? Right? Uh, Fifty five hundred dollars. Fifty five. And does that come with a handlebar stand? Yep. Obviously, seat post because yep. that's integrated. Yep. Yeah, and as a frame set, you actually have the ability to kind of fine tune your numbers, whether it be like a zero offset post or a thirty mil post, or or maybe you want to, you know, the team riders always ride real long stems. It, Obviously, you may want bars. something, yeah, so a little shorter. So when the customer shorter. hypothetically wants to order one, they would provide that information for the store. They could. Yeah. You, do you sell direct to consumer? Or we do not. No, we work I, I through. We work through roughly in the United States and North America. I think the retailer count is in the neighborhood of 200, 220 okay. or so. Uh -huh. um, and we do all of our sales via our retail partners. Got it. Got it. That's a very nice bike. Now, I have a question in regards to the uh, seat tube bottle cage here. Yep. Is, that, is that correct? That's how it's supposed to be? Because this is obviously some aero feature yep. I see, yep. and then so that's the bike, just... The bike, as it comes out of the box, will actually have more of a matching cage to this. But the team uses this uh, to help with the UCI compliance rules. Wow. Okay, is there more info on that, or is it just like that's all you know? Because I'm kind of intrigued in regards to how you're saying it comes with two of these, yep, but they take, the team takes one out because of UCI rules? Yep. Yeah, so UCI has fairly specific rules. Um, the actual pure details I'm always fuzzy on, but there's, uh -huh. there's, a, there's a rule for basically what you can have as far as an aerodynamic advantage to it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, t and technically, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they view this one um, as, uh, you know, on the edge of, of the rule book uh, there. Yeah, so the it. team will remove it. You can kind of see it in the pictures here. Oh, this, okay. this one's allowed, um, but this one isn't. Again, we're yeah. talking UCI yeah. racing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're racing in your local crit, doesn't matter. Yeah, correct. Yep. Tire clearance is, I'm going to guess, 32? 30. 30? Yep. Could you, if we were off camera, <clears throat> could you fit a 32? No. All right, it's 30. 30 it is 30, 30, 30. 30 is going to be your measured width, the largest you can fit. Um, obviously, you got to keep in mind how tires stretch, especially Correct. nicer yeah. tires tend yeah. to stretch a little bit. Yeah, and all There's, frames flex a little bit. You get out yeah. of the saddle, you're a big dude. You exactly, know? and then you've got you know different with wheels at this point. So understand um, when we talk about tire width, we talk to a measured width. actual literal yeah. measured tire. Okay, bottom bracket is that threaded or it's a BB86 press fit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's some great info on uh, on this bike. It looks like we have uh, more of an aero machine over yep. here. This is the T time machine. Machine road. Time machine road, because there yep. isn't time machine, but that's triathlon. Correct. Time machine road. Yeah, so we took, we wanted to kind of blend some of um, an added uh, aero factor to, but more to a road platform. Um, we viewed aerodynamics, um, to be honest with you, fairly 
simplistically, we need the aerodynamics to be very functional to the rider. Um, our view with that is um, when, we're, when we're doing testing and whatnot, um, the, we wanted to answer one question and, and it was kind of like, how do we make the bike slipperier without sacrificing stability and things like that? And one thing we came up with was this type of rider is never riding without bottles, okay? Mm -hmm. So if we can create a platform that allows for a real sleek effect with the bottle, um, we're, we're ultimately making the rider a little faster as a whole. Also, it doesn't hurt, it's not, it's not hard on the eyes. It's a very cool, clean, elegant design. Yeah, you got some storage down here. And you also here. have a small storage box. Here. Yeah, and if someone doesn't want to, they can take these off and put on regular cages, right? Absolutely. Entire clearance on this is also 30s, front and rear? This will be more at your 28. 28. Yeah. Oof. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Now we got a gravel bike set up one by. Is that correct to call this gravel? Plus, yeah, what's, so what's this the is, this is uh, the Caius is, is our, our newest gravel platform. Um, it is really built uh, with the kind of race rider in mind we took a lot of we took a lot of cues from what you know in the slr including the aero core down to um but it's really you know i always say that this is a bike for someone that's probably going to pin a number on once or twice a year whether it be unbound or um or uh, little sugar or one of those you could rip this thing on the road too just looking at it put some slicks on there you, and... you could you could the, the handling is going to be more optimized for being off road yeah um yeah. but absolutely you know a nice file tread you know 30 yeah. 35 36 37 tire whatever that may be um it's definitely built for speed um, you can see that both in the seat too, but also the you know the more robust seat stays as well. Really to kind of optimize um, efficiency through torsional rigidity. Yeah, shout out to BMC for being uh, one of the OGs when it comes to the drop seat stays. Yeah, we like to we, we, day, we, we like to say that we kind of started the trend. You there know, you go. I mean say, I'm sure someone on the internet's going to be like, well, there's this brand, blah blah. You know, hey, I'm not saying I'm saying yeah. you know it's a big brand. I don't, I don't, I don't mind saying it. Um, <laughs> we were without a doubt one of the people that revolutionized the, yeah, the drop totally, stay. Yeah. But not only that, but the communication between the D-shaped seat post and the seat tube. Uh -huh. um, a lot of times there's a thought that they're separate, but for us, these are all engineered to work together. Uh, yeah. um, and one of the ways that, you know, I think in our industry you hear a lot of times, you know, hey, it's lighter, it's stiffer, it's faster, it's more compliant, right? Um, one of the ways that when, when you're looking at some of our bikes, you can see how we're achieving that through seat post, seat tube, and seat stay in each individual bike. So I always encourage people to look at the different uh, seat post, seat tubes, and seat stays from each yeah. one of our lineup. They're drastically different, yeah. and they're to achieve uh, the intended goal of that given product. BMC, correct me if wrong, uses um, the software where it uh, computes millions or hundreds yeah. of thousands of different... Ace, Ace Technology. And then Specialized came out with their marketing saying they did that <laughs> like 10 years after you were doing it. Yeah. Ace Technology was something we've had in place since 2014 um, and it's um, in, a, in a sense it allows us to use virtual prototyping to levels that have never been seen in the bike industry um, you hear a lot of people using virtual prototyping but normally the outcome is two or three thousand iterations uh -huh. which is considered high yeah. in 2014 the, the SLR had uh, 35,000 different iterations to it that bike right there had 55,000 different iterations to it um, and the other cool thing is we don't just rely on this technology, um, but in our facility in Grenchen, Switzerland, we go from office to our impact engineering and design center, and right across the street is the is the velodrome. So we can go from concept to physical to actual testing within our campus in Switzerland, and and that is very unique within the industry. Nice, nice. Now tire clearance on this, 45, 45 front and rear. Yep. And uh, 650B. No, probably not on this. That would probably gonna bring the, the bike a little too low to the ground. Okay. Um, at this point, I guess anything is always possible, but we really designed it as a 700C bike. Got it, understood. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah. That's a lot of good information. I appreciate your time. Yeah, just tell everybody to check out some of our retailers and, you know, go ride one. BMCSwitzerland.com, is that yep. the website? Great, got it. all right, take care. All right, thank you. thanks guys.